guys, welcome to monomers and polymers. So in terms of specification, you need to be aware of the key definitions. Monomers are the smallest units uh, from which large molecules are made. Polymers are molecules made from a large a number of monomers joined together. Monosaccharides, amino acids and nucleotides are examples of monomers. And we also need to know what is the condensation and hydrolysis reaction. So condensation reaction joins two molecules together with the formation of a chemical bond that involves the elimination of a water molecule. And hydrolysis then is the reaction that breaks a chemical bond between two molecules and involves the use of the water molecule. So water is added here. So uh, first we will look at some keywords. So we've got atoms, units that make up all molecules, biological molecules. There are particular groups of chemicals that are found in living organisms. Molecular bio biology is a study of biological molecules and metabolism are all chemical processes that take place in living organisms. So in terms of the reactions, we need to be aware of the bonds because the bonding and the formation of the molecules involves obviously different types of the bonds to combine atoms. So we've got covalent bonding. So those are atoms uh, where, it's, where the atoms share a pair of electrons in their outer shells. And as a result, uh, the outer shell of both atoms is filled and a more stable compound molecule is formed. We've got ionic bonding. So there are electrostatic attractions ions uh, with opposite charges attract one another and ionic bonds are weaker than covalent bonds so that's important and the weakest bonds are hydrogen bonds uh, they can form important forces that alert the physical properties of molecules so the electrons within a molecule are polarized so not evenly distributed but tend to spend more time at one position uh, in terms of the polymers and monomers, we were looking at the um, uh, definitions before. So monomers are the smallest units from which larger molecules are made. So there are monosaccharides if we're talking about carbohydrates, amino acids if we're talking about proteins, and nucleotides if we're talking about nucleic acids. Uh, polymers then, there are uh, molecules made from a large number of monomers joined together, and this is done by the process of condensation. Condensation would be better to use here. So the removal of water to make a bond. And then examples of a polymers are polysaccharides, polypeptides, and nucleic acids. So here we've got a quick activity to, uh, to, to, uh, to join those things into the table. So for example, monomers, they're asking here about the monomers. So in terms of polysaccharides, glucose is the monomer. Polypeptides, it's then amino acids. Polynucleotide, it's a nucleotide. So bonds between them, uh, the glycosidic bond, it's the one that uh, we want for polysaccharides. Polypeptides has a peptide bond. Polynucleotides has a phosphodiester bond. Then the examples of polysaccharides will be starch, will be fructose, okay, um, oh, sorry, fructose, uh, uh, it's a disaccharide, polypeptides, we've then got uh, proteins, which are here, uh, polynucleotides, there are then nucleic acids like RNA and DNA. And then the atoms that are making it, so atoms in the polysaccharides, we've got carbon, we've got hydrogen, we've got oxygen. Uh, in polypeptides, we've got same for uh, nitrogen is coming along. And in polynucleotides, we've got the, uh, all of those and the phosphate as well. Right. So condensation reaction, as we've mentioned, it's a reaction that joins two molecules together with the formation of a chemical bond and involves the elimination of the water molecule. So here we've got the structure of a single amino acid and let's have a look how we can make those. So whether uh, we've got amino group, 
carboxyl group, okay, this is one amino acid, this is the other one. So for the condensation reaction, we want to remove water, and this is where the water will be removed to make a bond, a peptide bond, which is found between a carbon from the carboxyl group of the first amino acids and nitrogen from the amino group of the second amino acid. So what is then a hydrolysis? It's a reaction that breaks the chemical bond between two molecules and involves the use of a water molecule. So now we will be adding water. So here we've got uh, maltose, which is made of two glucoses. And to uh, hydrolyze maltose into glucoses, we need to uh, add water. So how is it done? Okay. We're adding a water molecule, okay, that will, uh, that will then uh, divide those into two, mal uh, into two glucoses. So here we've got a quick checkpoint to check which of those arrows shows the condensation reaction and which of those shows the hydrolysis reaction. So you can stop the video and have a think which one of those colors shows condensation and which of those shows hydrolysis. Right, ready? So this is our answer. The, uh, the red color shows you the, um, uh, shows you the condensation. So condensation reaction, okay, makes the uh, polymers from the monomers and hydrolysis reaction is the reaction that uh, breaks the uh, polymers into monomers. So that's everything for monomers and polymers. See you later.